welcome to Pecan Corner. I'm Tina and today I'm defrosting my deep freeze. Um, need to get that done. It hasn't been done in about three years and so there's, uh, <laughs> needless to say, uh, <laughs> it needed it. I want to get it done before the, before the summer starts, before the new produce comes in. Some friends of ours um, defrosted theirs a couple of weeks ago and um, they also have a chest top freezer and my friend said, you know, you need to do a video on how to organize uh, one of those things. And they are a problem because, you know, everything can goes to the bottom and you forget what you have and all of that. My freezer, of course, is a little bitty one. Um, the, my friends decided to use a, um, an inventory list which they just keep uh, posted there by their freezer where they can add to and, and take things off the list and that helps them remember what they have. And that's a really good idea if you have trouble uh, recalling what's in there. We, um, I've tried several different uh, methods. I'm finished drying, drying it off here. I've tried several different methods to organize this. Um, and what I've come up with that works the best for me is it's just multiple containers that can be um, um, removed or um, you know lifted up and out. Um, so what I did is I have these um, these baskets that I bought at the the dollar store. Um, any kind of a basket will do. These work for me because they're rigid, um, so I can I can lift them out easier um, when I'm when they're full of full of stuff. So I have several of them in different colors, um, but they're all the same size and they're all uh, just about the right width to fit down inside my chest freezer. Um, so they so they fit well and they don't waste space. You know the other thing is you don't want your containers to waste your space either. So what I'm going to do is is uh, to start with. Um, I have found it makes more sense to put the big biggest things on the bottom. Um, those are the things you're more likely to remember in there. If you do want them, it's going to be a special occasion, so it's going to be worth the effort of taking everything else out. Uh, to try to find them. If you have your, your ground beef on the bottom, you know, you're going to be annoyed every time you have to go into the freezer. So, uh, so that's, that's kind of my, my little plan. Um, so, here we go. Okay, so the first thing that's going to go in is the thing, the, the big things that I want to put in the bottom and that I don't want to keep uh, uh, in a basket. I have, um, a big pack of uh, spare ribs. I'm gonna lay it just right down there, and uh, a, a pork shoulder, a big leg roast, and that's one of those things that Paul will make a sausage out of one of these times. I went on, they were on sale. I bought two of them. Uh, one I've got thawing out right now because it's time for Paul to make another batch of a uh, of breakfast sausage and, and chorizo, and uh, so that one will be in there um, for for later on. All right, that's where I am right now. Next, I have two large containers of fruit, of frozen fruit. Um, this one is um, uh, frozen strawberries. I'm just going to put it way down there in the bottom. And this one is frozen mango pulp. And I'm going to put it down there too. That's, those are other things that I will remember are there. And I can, uh, I can fit them in. To where I can get to them easily, but at the same time, not uh, not take up uh, space that I need uh, uh, on a more regular basis because those are kind of long-term storage. All right, now then, I have um, one. This is um, a package. Uh, this is my my uh, basket with uh, uh, venison and uh, beef in it. And so I'm going to set it. Just set it right down in there. My next one is a packet of. Um, I've got um, I've got poultry, uh, pork, and uh, a package of ground lamb in this one because I don't have that much of any one of those. 
So any of the unusual meats, I'll, I'll put them together in there. But now I've done something a little bit different. I've got my smoked meats all together. Um, I kind of cook differently with those, and I treat them, oops, treat them differently. So um, I've got you know everything from bacon uh, to um, sausages and um, salt pork, and then uh, just just because it's going to be up near the top, because I use these a lot. Um, I've got. Uh, um, frozen lunch meats. So when I find lunch meats on sale, I, I, I bring them too. Okay, so there's those. Now next, let me just stack these in here. And so see what I can do. Let's get around here where I can see this. As you can see, it's it's really easy when I want to look for something, I want to get something else out. I can just lift these baskets out. You have to remember when you're putting foods away to, to lift the baskets out and put them in the in you know the right order. But it just it works. And I've got one basket that I'm using for ground meat, and um, I've got my my liver in here uh, because I want to use that quickly. Um, if I had, um, I do have two packages of fish up in the other freezer. Um, and I will, uh, I'll bring them back here and I'll put them in this basket too because these, this is a basket of stuff that I'm going to use more quickly. Um, so liver or fish, things that I don't want to store for very long, um, I'll, I'll put those in, into that basket. This basket's nearly overflowing, um, but this is vegetables. Um, now that I've got my dehydrator and that I can, I won't have very many frozen vegetables anymore. But but uh, I do have, um, I've got uh, frozen um, um, avocados and I've got my, my pecans. Now probably this next year, you know, I'll, and then of course my frozen okra. I always freeze a bunch of okra because it, um, you thaw it out and dredge it in cornmeal and it fries up exactly like fresh okra. So, so I'll always have a little basket for that. Because that's so um, uniform, if I didn't have enough baskets, I could use a, um, a shopping basket. I mean a shopping uh, bag uh, for those. And that would be just fine. Now, the other thing is we always have a lot of cheese on hand and I freeze our cheese. And I, uh, so I like to have lots of different kinds. So I always have one basket that's nothing but cheese. And that's going to go always near the top too because that's one of, another one of those things that I have to, uh, that I have to have. Um, now, if I get a, a whole lot more meat so that I have more, uh, uh, more food than I have baskets, uh, I'll take a, a just shopping bags and have, uh, you know, like, it, like when Daddy gives us some beef, after, if, he, if he butchers a beef and, and brings us some, I'll have one, one bag that's nothing but the roasts and one bag that's the steaks and one bag that is the ground beef. And I'll just set those on top. What I'm going to sit on top right now, I've been buying butter on sale. I've been buying butter on sale, and um, it takes up a lot of space, and I can do two things with it. I can either um, keep it and put it down uh, towards the bottom. I could stack it um, and then stack my vegetable basket on top. Or I can just leave it in bags and then just lift it out before I look for anything. And uh, pretty much that's what I'm am doing because I will use this up pretty rapidly once the market starts. So I just sit it down on top of everything else down in there. And that's that's how it is. And so then when I want something, I can come in here and all I have to do is just lift out my butter, lift out my cheese. And there is a package of, uh, of uh, what is that? Let's see. Um, a, a back strap. That's that other back strap that I haven't cooked yet. And it's right there. So that, it's just really handy. And um, the more you use this, the more you remember, you know, that the, the, the back straps, you know, the, the roasts are in the middle and the, the ground beef's on the side. 
things like that. So you kind of you get real comfortable with uh, with where things are. So that's um, that's how how I organize my freezer. Um, and I hope that uh, that that will will help you. Um, I was pretty happy. I didn't find a whole lot in there that I didn't know I had. Uh, a couple of things, but but not too much. And uh, now I'm good to go uh, for another couple of years before I before I re uh, uh, redo it. All right. Thanks so much. If you like it, I hope you'll give us a thumbs up and please subscribe.